mental health during COVID has been hard. I'm a big introvert. I actually, like, I think I work really well in, like, periods of isolation. And even for me, the pandemic was stretching to, like, have to work from home and adjust to a new life speed. And, like, I live with my partner. So, like, what is it like to be around someone else all day? And so mental health for me looked like acknowledging the craziness around me, the, the craziness of the moment and the time that we were in and allowing myself to feel it. And then asking myself, what do I need to uh, be able to function? Or like, what are the tools I need to survive? So I started like working out more and meditating more. I like do like therapy and group therapy now, you know, like I just started looking into like, what are the things that are gonna make me feel human and okay and grounded during this time? And it wasn't easy or perfect, uh, but I think it was an interesting opportunity for me as a human to like really assess like, what do I need to be okay? And how can I, how do I actively seek those things out? I think the way music has changed for me over this time is I've really begun to acknowledge and like sit with the therapeutic benefits of it for me. Growing up, if my mom had a bad day, I would write her a song. Or like if I wanted to understand something about myself or apologize or like get better, I would like figure it out writing lyrics and making melodies. And so at, on some level, it has always been a tool for me to like grow and like take care of myself and organize my brain and all this stuff, uh, but this year especially, it became really important for me to like be aware of how I feel, like how do I feel when I play the drums? How do I feel when I play piano? Not just for work, but like maybe setting a t aside like an hour or two a day, you know, to just play and to not feel like I have to record it or send it to my manager or whatever. I think that I really just let music be healing to me. And I think that's a, probably an important thing to contend for considering the career I have. So that's, I think that's been the biggest change. When I play the drums, I feel like there is, like, I just, I have a busy brain. I, I think a lot. Um, and it's like part of my deal with anxiety, right? So I think with the drums, you're thinking about a lot of things, you know? Like my right hand's doing one thing, my left hand's doing another thing, my foot's doing 12 different things. I'm no longer spinning about that weird thing I said at lunch the other day, <laughs> you know? It's just like, I'm in the moment, I'm focused, I'm relaxed. That's really cool and powerful. Whether it's on YouTube or Instagram or Twitter, uh, like the DMs, the tweets, the comments, even like in between like people who follow me, like it's not even like me as a part of the conversation anymore. I just see people like supporting each other and being like, at, like quarantine's been hard for me too. Something that stuck out to me was like during the winter, like the really bad storm in Texas, a lot of people were like just commenting like care and encouragement and support for each other. That is amazing and powerful and not necessarily how we were using the internet <laughs> before uh, the pandemic. I think it like sort of opened up this realization like yes we can use this to consume and maybe even to criticize work but we can also use it to encourage each other and to be there for each other and to connect. And that's the biggest change I've seen in my relationship with my fans is like I feel like they're more connected to each other. I feel like I'm more connected to them and more cognizant of them as humans and I hope that continues.